Hello, I would like to speak with you about Chinese Northern Song Dynasty Imperial Ru wares. These were the first wares ever used exclusively by the emperor and his court. The Ru kiln was producing wares from approximately 1086 to 1126. There were two emperors during this period. During the first emperor's reign, the kiln produced several colors of opulent wares with gold-plated bands made for tribute to the emperor and his court. The gold-plated over copper bands have extensive layered corrosion of cuprite and malachite where the plating has worn. And this clearly shows their great age. If you look from the right to the left you can see the colors that were used as the tribute as tribute wares. The first color is moonlight white. You can see five spur marks on the base and the gold banding. The second piece is sky blue. You see the five spur marks and the gold banding. The third piece is robin egg blue. You see the banding and the five spur marks. The fourth piece is dark robin egg blue. You see this has three spur marks and gold banding. The fifth piece is sky after rain. And you see the five spur marks and the gold banding. The sixth piece is ash after burning. You see the five spur marks and the gold band. The seventh piece is called pale celadon. And you see the five spur marks and the gold banding. And the spur marks are sesame seed size and shape on all the pieces. The eighth piece is called Celadon. You see the five spur marks and the gold banding. Now the ninth piece was the only wares that the emperor helped develop. He was very unhappy with the opulent wares, so he commissioned the root kiln to develop wares using celadine glaze similar to that of the Korean Koro celadine glaze. He wanted them to produce the most refined and modest forms ever made that would remain timeless throughout history. And, and also, he decided to use crushed agate in the mix to give the, the glaze texture like jade stone. And they started firing the wares flat without glazing the foot rings to get rid of the spur marks. The biscuit was made of a grayish ash color clay with a high iron content that turns brown after firing. The commissioned bluish green Celadon wares have luminescent qualities that show under different lighting conditions in photographs. And these qualities make, make them the most outstanding and collectible wares ever produced. And they can't be duplicated because the materials are no longer available. These wares were the very first wares chosen by the emperor and to be used by himself and his court in China's history. Now, you can see on the base of the ninth piece, it's unglazed and it shows no spur marks. It was, and if you go close to the piece, you can see it has texture from the agate stone. 
that was ground up and placed into the, the mix. And uh, you can see that it has texture to it where these other pieces are very, the opulent pieces in the back are very smooth glazed and silky to the, to the touch. This has a little bit of texture to it. And that's because of the uh, agate stone being ground up and put into the mix. Uh, I'd like to uh, uh, tell you, to, uh, for further information, you can go to my website at ChineseMasterPieces.com. That's ChineseMasterPieces.com. And thank you for watching.